Hey guys, if you enjoy these videos and want to support them, hit that subscribe button and maybe hit that bell to get notifications. You can also back me on Patreon, where for as little as a dollar a month you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes extras, and a whole lot more. Hey guys, it's your boy Zero here. Welcome back to another edition of Thoughts on the show where I talk about media I've consumed recently. And I just got out of the theater seeing Konosuba, the new Konosuba movie, The Legend of Crimson, I think it's called. I don't fucking remember. But it was awesome. It was fantastic. Now, I've seen the first season of Konosuba. I'm halfway through the second season, so some stuff I didn't know. But this movie was hilarious. First and foremost, go see this in the theaters. See it with other people because, my God, like getting that theater experience, getting the laughs and everything... It's so worth it. It's it was it was such a great experience. See, first off, seeing Konosuba on the big screen is awesome because Konosuba is such a great show. It, if you don't know, it's like an isekai comedy. Uh, it takes the trope, popular tropes of isekai, and twists them around, uh, changes them for comedic effect. And man, this movie was just full of it. You got Kazuma being a full sleaze ball, as we all expected, and just like uh, just like lucking his way through things. You of course have Darkness, the masochist that she is. You know, we thinking she's being proactive, but also just because proactive because of her <laughs> because of her masochism. You had Aqua, who basically did nothing <laughs> except boosts, and then you have, of course, the movie centralizing around Megamin and Yun Yun, uh, the two Crimson uh, Mages, uh, and it's focused around them because we go back to the city, we get to meet. Uh, um, the, all the Crimson Mages, we get to meet Union's family, we get to meet uh, Megamine's family. I wasn't a huge Megamine fan, but now I kind of like her more after seeing this movie. So uh, I, I might change my thoughts on Best Girl to Megamine. I haven't decided yet, but uh, it, this movie was really funny. It was really awesome. Uh, there, the, there's a demon lord. One of the demon lords, um, Sylvia's in this, and she kills it. <laughs> this movie, like the funniest jokes are around her. But I don't want to spoil too much. But this movie is just fantastic. Uh, we saw it subbed. I personally prefer the double Konosuba. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I took what I could get. But this movie was fantastic. It was funny. Definitely go see it. In a career. If you've seen the Konosuba series and you know about its hilarity, it's basically that, but on a much higher level. And I can't say much more than that. I don't want to spoil anything, but I just want to say go see it. It's hilarious. It's great. And a lot of characters come back. Wiz is there. Uh, as well as other characters, all the characters you've known to love throughout the series, well, except a few uh, that weren't involved in this, but most of the characters that are great are here. So, guys, go check it out. Uh, I think it's called The Legend of Crimson or The Legend of Crimson. I can't remember the exact name right now. I'm just the 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 friggin' series name is too long, and it, this having a subtitle didn't help. But, anyways, it's great. It's in the title of the video. Whatever, go check it out. I'm going to head home now. I got to finish the second uh, season of Konosuba. But if you want to support me, Patreon's a good way to do it. You can also follow me on Facebook.com slash Zero Master fan page. You can follow me on Twitter at Zero Master. And I stream on Twitch Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, guys. I'm out. I'll see you on the next one.